Hello everyone, it's me, Chase Kibita. Welcome back to Lost in Vivo. And you see, the funny thing about this game is I've been calling our dog Vivo this whole time when I don't even know if that's our dog's real name. Like, I don't know if that's their name. Because I know in vivo is like a medical term uh, for when they do like research on something inside of an organism. So, Lost in Vivo, let's go ahead and get started, uh, is kind of a way of saying lost inside yourself kind of sort of you know what i mean you know what i'm saying so um this game uh the synopsis of this game is it's based on claustrophobia so i'm thinking lost in vivo means you're lost inside your own head whereas like some of these events really happen like you losing your uh service dog and all that so i feel like this is all coming from a perspective of Oh, okay. Yeah. So that, that was just a loopy loop. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, so anyway, it's all a perspective on our, um, our main character with the, with the mental, uh, block of having this, uh, claustrophobia. And obviously this is not good for him, but at the beginning you lose your service dog. And that's obviously going to be a big deal for you. So you go down to the sewers to try to find her or him. And it's driving you nuts because you're claustrophobic. So this is all like metaphorical versions of the nightmares that he's experiencing. At least to me. And that's 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 how I'm kind of interpreting the interpret interpreting interpreting this. <laughs> it's how I'm interpreting it. Uh, so anyway, that's that's Lost in Vivo to me. Um, oh my god, there's, it's going to be right around this corner. Or maybe it's above my head, I don't know. I hear it, I hear the monster. Is it? Is it above me or is it like right- Oh, it's right there. Oh boy. Bye. There it goes. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> so these monsters and nightmares are like figments of my imagination. Um, I think. Or maybe it's really happening. Could you imagine? Holy shit. So yeah, um, I've pretty much been getting it wrong this whole time. So anyway, uh, last episode, we've basically been through this. We're trying to find the other two insignias to go into that door to kind of unlock it. You saw it at the beginning of the episode. We went that way and saw the- Oh, there's one right there. Boom! Give me that. Moon emblem. 924. I told everyone, but no. No one listens to me. I can't trust anyone. They're all just serving the monsters. No one is different. It's just me now. Why wouldn't they just listen? Oh, oh, and we, uh, we saw the second tape as well last episode, which is- It, it was like a nightmare in a hospital or something. Very, very Silent Hill. I'm gonna say that a billion times during this playthrough. Because that's... it's back. Because that's... that's the game. Oh, broken. That's great. Cool. Well, I got... I got the moon emblem. I don't know where it is. Let's go this way. Maybe this isn't broken. Yay, we did it! <laughs> oh. Is there anything... Okay, that's the other side of where we were. Is there nothing here? I don't think there is. I think it's like a dead end. Yeah, cause that- yeah, that's the other side. That's the other room. That's where we found the moon emblem just now. Duh. Okay. I got my gun. You can't get out of my Ruger. Let's go. Before it sees us. <laughs> oh my god. That's one of my le- Holy shit. Go, 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 go. Up the ladder, up the ladder, up the ladder. Did you do it? Did you do it? Oh! Oh my god, it can climb! Oh boy, it's gaining on me! I can't do anything about it! Oh, 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 what? Is it gone? Oh, it's going back down. Oh my god! So it climbs up the ladder after you, but once you get to the top, that's it. That explains why when I got to the top of the ladder, before when there was one chasing me, it didn't... It didn't climb after me. Holy shit, dude. Scare the hell out of somebody. I'm gonna save it for safety. Because I don't wanna have to do that again. So we need one more game saved. Good, good, good. So at one point in this game, 
the game uh, it deletes instead of saves. I think I, I don't know if it's like a set point in the game or if it's uh, it's like randomized, but it, it does. It actually deletes. It doesn't let you exit the game or anything. So yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I've been here. I think I, I think I've been in this one. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's go ahead and put this in the door. And see if there's anything straight ahead this way. Probably. Okay, I need one more. Un mas. I can't remember if there was anything this way or not. Yeah, see, that that just went around full circle. Um, There's nothing there. So maybe there is something over here. I don't know. I think I have to go right. I, have to, I think I have to go toward the noise. What's this? Oh, shit. Uh-huh. I have to go in here. It's in here, isn't it? Okay, we got some body bags. Oh, oh, get some, get some. <laughs> it's so scary. Like, a lot of games, you've heard me say it a thousand times. That's broken, okay. A lot of games, a lot of horror games, when they give you a weapon, it gets rid of the fear factor 100%. Not this one. Is that the last one? Yes, bomb emblem. 923, I thought I'd be safe down here. I'm so far away from those monsters up above, but even down here, I'm not alone. Yeah, dude, they will follow you everywhere. See, I, I feel like you can see this game in a totally different light if you... If you, um... If you think of all the notes and all the story and all the events happening in it, metaphorically. I don't know where it is. It's near. Definitely. I'm gonna go back and um hope for the best. What's this way? Oh, 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 oh my god, it's so scary! Jesus. Okay, yeah, this is this is fine. If I would have taken a right, it would have taken me basically to the same room, but down that direction. Okay, cool. So this is the last one. Got all the emblems. Um, I'm gonna save it. So don't want to go in there and die and then have to find a blah 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 You know what I mean? I don't know, we're getting- we're getting pretty far into the game, so I'm gonna start being a little more careful and saving a lot more frequently, if possible. Because, I don't know, like I said, I've beaten this game, but not on New Game Plus One. I'm sure it gets harder. Oh, great! Nezumi testing. So now we're straight up, like, in a hospital. Whew, buddy. Yay. So is this the hospital from the tape? Play tape. I don't have tape three or tape four. Did I miss a tape? I probably missed a tape. Oh, save, save. Good. Good, let's do that. Hi, meow, 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 meow. Good times. Good times. I'm sorry, I'm nervous. I'm like, uh, Dr. Brundle, personal archive number 86. Feeling good about today. Progress continues almost at an alarming rate given how theoretical all this should be. Today we had one of the smaller rodents continue to move for almost two hours after all its blood had been drained and replaced with mixed PA22.12.15V. Uh -huh. Okay, so they're injecting stuff. They're injecting living organisms with something that's broken. Wow, this place is foggy. I need a lockpick for that. Great. What's in here? Oh, I didn't read the door, but it's doctor. A doctor's room. What's in here? Anything I can open? Open. Oh, some dead rats. Uh, Dr. Piscinini. Personal Archive 65. Shrieks and squeals are all I hear. My dreams are infested with these rats. If only they knew that we were going to make them into something beautiful. If they knew that... And they and had the capacity to they would respect me, but no, it's nothing but screams and wailing I can't sleep. I can hardly think even when I'm further away than the sound could possibly should possibly travel I can still hear them. Yeah, well, you're murdering uh, Living creatures, so I think you kind of deserve To like kind of feel it a little bit Let it haunt you I'm just saying I don't know I mean, that's kind of how they do things, though, in science, is they, they test on living creatures. Like, it, that's that's a real thing that happens. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, ain't you ever seen I Am Legend? 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Uh, 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 shoot it, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. <laughs> this game, like, it didn't even make any noise. I just heard the door shut behind. See, the, it just knows how to strike you in all the right places. It makes you feel safe. Ah, uh, Dr. Piccanini. Personal Archive 66. My dreams have found their savior. A dark creature swabbed in dirty robes now lives within them. To eat the rats and silence the screaming. Soon I will begin work. Not this filthy government's rat work, but my true work. I will give birth to my savior so they can silence everything. Cool, so you're trying to make like a mega beast. Basically. So, um, is there anything in here I can grab? I don't see anything in blue. Did I literally just come in here for that note? Feels like it did. Okay. So, are there more Mosners? Let's go to that lab's closed. That's a doorway. That's another lab. That's open. Cool. Snap. Okay, four shots each. That's how- that's how much it takes. I had to count them. Yeah, I heard- it, I like how it, sh it lets- it, it lets you hear the screaming before you walk in. That way you know what to prepare for. Uh, personal archive, Dr. Brundle, personal archive number 88. I'm beginning to question my fellow scientists' ethics. If we can truly call any of the science anymore, I fear we're all stumbling into something dark, and with each breakthrough, my fear grows. I don't know how they'll react when we inevitably hit a dead end with these experiments. So, this isn't metaphorical? Because we just found a lab. Ooh, can I have that? Doll head picked up. Nice. That's what I like to have in my pocket, a doll head. Just in case, you know? You never know when you're gonna need it. I mean, that's that's kind of a horror game thing, though. Like, if you think about it, that's how these things work. Lockers! Screeching. Got him! Didn't see that coming, did you, boys? Uh, 87. Oh, oh, this is the one I missed. Dr. Brundle, Personal Archive 87. Today I questioned the higher staff just on how far they think we can go with these experiments. Dr. Piccanini took hold of me. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, whatever. Took hold of me and brought me into one of the off-limits off -limit, off rooms and showed me something I don't fully understand. Maybe he was playing an elaborate and inappropriate prank. Piccanini told me that his other pet project... That it was his other pet project and assured me that the work we're doing is of great importance. Nice. That's why you're leaving body bags all over the place, huh? I see. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know. It's sad, dude. It's really sad. Uh, there's another note. Archive 67. This is Piccanini's. I showed Sotiris to Dr. Brundle today. He didn't know what to think. He just stared at it. Maybe he was just scared. So Tyrus is moving now, but only barely. For some reason, I can't get him to function while the camera is on or while I'm looking at him, but he changes form between these moments. That's great. So you built an SCP. <laughs> that's what that, that's, that's a fucking SCP right there. If you look away and it changes form, that's insane. Is it one of these giant things walking around with eyeballs instead of heads? Is that what so Tyrus is? Okay, what's in here? Oh my god. There's... Alright, got him. You thought... Oh, these are the little babies that I kept finding. Oh, uh, what? Was that Sotiris? That I'm hearing? What's this? Personal Archive 68, my dear savior is growing every day. I started stealing some of the rats from the tiny safe cages and put them in the hole with Sotiris. At first I wasn't sure what they, if they do anything, but once I left and came back, the rats were gone, and only traces of rats left was lipstick smear of blood on Sotiris' jaw. <laughs> what? Um... Uh... This seems like a final room. Dr. Brundle 89, we've done it. I have to get out of here as soon as I can. These are not creations that should exist. I don't know if we screwed something up along the way, or if this was the only possible outcome. Holy shit, okay, um... There's another room, right? Okay. What's in here? This one has like a blue glow. Oh boy. Don't, 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 don't kill me. I'm almost out of ammo. Jesus, what was that? Something broke? What's this? 
<gasps> lost tape number three, boys! We got another lost tape. We'll look at that later. Dr. GLA Resource Research Archive 120. Subject class three was originally found in the wreckage of a collapsed farmhouse by a mountain survey team. It was later brought to government attention after most of the crew went missing and then granted to our lab for testing. It appears like a normal cassette tape, but has some major differences. This is the cassette tape three, right? Subject class three. It appears like a normal blah, 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 blah. Spectrogram displays that the audio contained do not seem to match the structure or waveform of the actual sound, but rather several images of American animal life and trees. Some researchers who spent significant time uh, in listening to the subject have been hospitalized for mental reasons uh, and often becoming obsessed with fictional being known as Bayagatoth. Wow. Wow. Examine. It's broken. What is that? Was broken. It's broken. Whatever. Whatever is. Whatever that is is broken, guys. Anything in here? Nada. We're looking at nothing. So I got the tape. Um, I'm gonna go back to the save point. We're gonna save the game before something fucking crazy happens. What's down here? Um, I need. What is down here? Retinal scan for okay, I need somebody's eye for that. Am I gonna have to tear out an eyeball? Who oh boy? I hear walking. Why do I hear walking? Um Let's save. <laughs>